everybody, welcome back to Ten on YouTube. This is episode 75. This is going to be a big episode. Now, this is going to be a review episode for my top 5 favorite TV shows. That's right, that is it. My top 5 favorite TV shows. <coughs> okay, now, these top my top 5 favorite TV shows, I think, are, are brilliant shows, and either deserve to stay airing, or deserve another chance to, to air on TV, if, it's, if it was cancelled or ended. Now, number five is, I can tell there would be a bunch of you who could hate me for this, iCarly. That's right, the beautiful iCarly. I think this is an amazing show. Now, iCarly is supposed to be known as the fourth series created by Dan Schneider for Nickelodeon. Now, this is now here's the main plot that really happened in the first episode. When Carly and her sassy best friend Sam act funny at a school talent show audition, tech savvy Freddie tapes and posts online without telling them. After seeing the girls' strong chemistry and banter, the online audience clamors for more, and the iCarly webcast is born. While grappling with typical issues, at all silence, I guess Carly, Sam, and Freddie find out. Hold on. Sorry, uh. Carly, Sam, and Freddie find out that they have also become online celebrities as their show, with with features ta with featured features talents co talent contests, recipes, problem solving, and random dancing, garners international accolades or so. Carly lives in Seattle, Washington, with her 26 year old brother and guardian Spencer. Spencer, and produces the show in a makeshift third floor studio loft in their apartment. Their father, Stephen Shea, is a U.S. Air Force officer stationed on a submarine. It's mentioned on numerous occasions and seen and seen in the series finale episode "I Goodbye." Exterior shots of the Shea apartment building, Bushwell Plaza, are additionally altered altered image of the Eastern Columbia building in Los Angeles. Yeah. Now the main. Now this this TV show aired from September eighth to two thousand from September eighth two thousand seven to November twenty third two thousand twelve, with seven seasons and one hundred nine episodes. This show, I have to say, was funny and amazing. It aired on Nickelodeon with stars Rana Cosgrove, Jeanette McCurdy, Nathan Crest, Jerry Trainer, and Noah Monk from seasons four to seven, as recurring from seasons one to three. I Carly, I think, was an amazing show. It was filmed ta taped at Nickelodeon on Sunset for seasons one to five, and KTLA Studios from season six to seven in Hollywood, California. Now this show I think is amazing. I love I love all the funny stuff that happens and and in fact Drake Bell once appeared in a Carly episode. It was the episode I Bloop. Now number four aired on Cartoon Network. It's Canadian. So yeah, I'd watch out. It's called Total Drama. That's right. Good old Total Drama. Now, Total Drama is known, well, this, here's the format. The name of each season consists of the title Total Drama with a different word or phrase later in. The changing word or phrase defines the theme for that season. This series, this series is a competition to win a cash prize $100,000 in the first season and a million dollars in every other season. This series take, takes elements of other widely known series such as Survivor, Endurance, The Wheel of World Rules, etc. Like these other series, Total Drama is rated TVPG because it features mild profanity, censored, censored language, brief censored nudity, and some suggestive dialogue. When more suggestive dialogue is present, the episode is rated, episode is rated TVPGD. Now, it's not, now, this show is not made by Nick, by a Cartoon Network themselves. The production companies are Teletoon, Fresh TV Inc., Neptune Studios, and distributor is Cake Entertainment. Yeah, don't ask. It first aired in Canada on July 8, 2007, and first aired in the United States on June 5, 2008. And both and, and this show is still airing today. So far there's been an, a there's, so far there's been four seasons. And hmm. Well, it says here six seasons and 120 episodes including specials. Yeah. The thing is is that yeah, just um there has been four seasons that still that first aired with Total Drama Island, Total Drama Action, Total Drama World Tour, and Total Drama Revenge of the Island. With season five, Total Drama All Stars coming soon later this year. 
and a new and a sixth season called Total Drama pa Pakitu Island, as planned later f for soon or whatever. Now Tom McGill's is the creator of the series, and expects Total Drama to get past says ten seasons well into the future. Wow, I didn't even notice that either. Now I love this show a whole lot. I love all the drama that happens. I love all the action and the comedy, and even some even some touching moments, and even some tear jerky moments, kind of. The show is not isn't the show isn't a cartoon, but it's animated. Now for number three, it's French. Can you guess what show it is? Well, if you can't, then here it is, Code Lyoko. That's right. This show aired on Cartoon Network too. This show, this show, this show aired from the the original series from September third, two thousand three, in France, from to November tenth, two thousand seven. Now the now the premise is Jeremy Belpois, a gifted child attending boarding school at the, fic at the fictional Cadet Academy, one day discovers an abandoned supercomputer in a factory at a jet. Adjacent or so to his school, uh, adjacent, yeah, adjacent to his school. Upon active activating it, he discovers he discovers Ailita, a young girl trapped inside a virtual world running on a supercomputer named Lyoko. After unusual events begin to occur at school, Jeremy learns of Xana, a malevolent, destruction bent artificial intelligence running on the supercomputer along with Ailita. In order to assist with his efforts in saving Ailita from the supercomputer and materializing her into the real world. Jeremy recruits follow classmates Ulrich Stern, Odd Della Robia, and Yumi Ishiyama to fight on Lyoko for him. The show's aired four seasons and actually 95 episodes. It says 97, but they're wrong. The show actually returned with a sequel series called Lyoko Evolution, which aired in France in late 2012. It still has time for it to air, start, start airing here, although one of the episodes aired as its first episode, which I don't understand why. Now, this series is presented in both tra traditional animation and CGI. That's right. I think this show is epic. Love this show. It has all the things you would want. Action, drama, romance, comedy, of course, animation. Um... Even some horror. Yeah, can you get that finger? Yep. Even horror. About six um, genres. Now, number two is animation, but it's aired on Phineas and Ferb. Crap, I just gave it away. Yep, it's Phineas and Ferb. What I meant to say it aired on Disney Channel. It's Phineas and Ferb. And I think it's it's so epic. Now, it first aired as a premise on August 17, 2007, uh, 2007 after um, High School Musical 2. Yes, High School Musical 2. High School Musical, a terrible show. Now, now this plot's a long one. The show follows the adventures of stepbrothers Phineas Flynn, Vincent Martella, and Fur Fletcher, Thomas Sangster, who live in the rural town of Danville, somewhere in the tri-state area. Their older, their older sister, Candace Flynn, Ashley Tisdale, is, is obsessed with two things Two things throughout the show. One is busting Phineas and Ferb's schemes and ideas, usually calling their mother to report the boys' activities and attempt to get them in trouble, but is never successful because of the events that transpired them in another supply. Second is that she is obsessed with a boy named Jeremy Mitchell Musso, who she wants her to be her boyfriend. Meanwhile, the boy that's Platypus Perry, that's right, who acts as a secret agent for an all-animal government, or government organization called the OWCA, Organization Without a Cool Acronym, fighting Dr. Hein Doofenshmirtz. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Now, D. Bradley Baker voices, D. Bradley Baker voices Perry the Platypus, but he also voices someone else as the number one, my number one favorite TV show. Can you guess what it is? What's going on? Well, You'll see. This show is totally brilliant. I don't really get why most kids don't really prefer this show anymore. Oh wait, yeah, I know, because they'd rather prefer the new Spongebob. While us people that know the show has gone even worse, kids think it's gone even better. And I think that's stupid. Because trust me, Sp the new era of Spongebob is one bad thing. 
is an abomination to Nickelodeon, in my opinion. Very big abomination. And this show deserves to win a KCA for once. Never, at least for once. If, it, if it at least once KCA for best cartoon once, because you remember my uh, thing for uh, uh, my thing in the beginning of this, my YouTube show, then you know what I mean. And Petit the Platypus needs to laugh for once. Now, number one is a game show for kids. Do you guess what it is? Well, it's Legends of the Hidden Temple. That's that's right. This is the best show I've seen in history. It's, it's such an epic show. It was taped at Nickelodeon Studios in Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. That's right, I know. This show aired from September 11th, 1993 to 1995. It would have had a fourth season, but something happened, and you know. Now, Dee Bradley Baker voices Olmec, also known as the announcer. Okay. This is an action-adventure action game show for children. It, 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 host, it stars the host Kirk Fogg. You wouldn't, wouldn't really know him as of these days. You kids are watching this. So there are six teams on on, on there are six teams on the sh six teams that are, that are colored animals or so. There's the red jaguars, blue barracudas, green monkeys, orange iguanas, purple parents and uh, parrots, and silver snakes. I thought it was purple parents, but that was me when I was a kid. I used to watch this show a whole lot when I was a kid. Oh, I forgot to mention, Phineas and Ferb is over 100 episodes and has 4 seasons. The Legend of the Hidden Temple aired with 3 seasons and 120 episodes. 40 episodes each season. I think this show was brilliant and deserves another chance on TV. But if they mess it up, then you'd have to get out of my way. Because I'd have the biggest rampage in my life. So that's my top 5 favorite TV shows. I'm sorry for being a little bland in what I'm explaining. It's just, not only my battery and my eye touch is dying, but you know what I mean. It's just, I don't want to run out too much with this. With, it, with this, um, you know what I mean. So, see you next time on Tina on YouTube. Now, what is your favorite TV shows? Leave, down, leave a comment down in the section below. Bye.